Hi there, and welcome to the second episode of Tech Tips with uh, me, Kathy Herbert, your Instructional Technology Specialist. Today we're going to be talking about a time-saving tool for teachers called Classroom Screen. So let me show you a little bit about how this works. You'll go to, um, in an internet browser, preferably Chrome, uh, to classroomscreen.com. Um, once I get there, uh, I'm going to have uh, kind of a white space where I can start creating. So I'm going to start with my background. They've got some images here to pick from, or you can just choose a plain color. The one I really uh, like a lot is the GIFs over here. So I like these because there's motion. It's just very relaxing and calming. So um, once I got my background, I have a couple different things I can do. I can choose the random name picker. Now, I can't save my classroom screen once I set it up. So what I did do is I just had a sticky note or a file on my desktop where I could uh, keep the list of the kids' names. And then I can just cut and paste them into my random name picker. You can just uh, click the choose button and it'll randomly choose kids. Another cool tool here, and I want to click save. I can save it for the day. Um, another cool tool that I have here is there's a dice option. And I can do one, two, or three, and it will roll the dice for me. Um, this might be good to use at a station. Um, you could actually couple it with text um, or the whiteboard, and they could write problems. So that's a neat tool to have. Um, if you want to close any of the apps that you have open on Classroom Screen, you would just go down there and click the X. Um, I can always leave them on the desktop if I want. I can op open up sound level, and it will uh, go ahead and monitor the sound in the classroom, and I can set the sensitivity. Uh, and the color bar will turn um, red when it gets too loud. I can actually open a QR code box where I can paste QR codes. Maybe I want to put my Seesaw class code in there. Um, whatever website you want the kids to get to easily, you would do that just by changing the text in this box. Um, I have a drawing um, that opens up the whiteboard space. Um, I can also, there's a text feature where I can type directions. There are work symbols that where I can add what the kids should be doing and a traffic light so I can give the kids some directions on what we're, what's going on. And finally, a timer, which is pretty neat. And I can, again, move these things all, all over the screen wherever I want them. So pretty neat, neat tools to have. Um, another awesome tool that you have is over here on the right, you'll see the little red and green. That is an exit poll. So for the exit poll, I can actually put a question up. Um, and I can actually link this to an iPad or the kids can come up to the board and then rate themselves for some self-reflection. And when I'm done, I can show results. This might be something neat to use when um, you're graphing as well um, in, in the math. So those are some neat tools. Again, you cannot you can save the link to classroom screen, but it does not save your thing. But it's designed to be able to quickly open up and grab the tools that you need to have available to you. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I hope you enjoy uh, using the tool and I'll see you on the next tech tip.